Hello friends. Today we are going to watch about masks. Masks help prevent individuals who are already sick from spreading their illness to others. Next we are going to watch what are different types of face masks available. Basic cloth face mask. Surgical face mask. N95 respirator. P95 respirator. P100 respirator, gas mask. R95 respirator. N99 mask. N100 mask. Full face respirator. Full length face shield. KN95 respirator. Basic cloth face mask. Cloth face masks should be worn in public settings where social distancing measures are difficult to maintain, such as in grocery stores, especially in areas of significant community-based transmission. Next is surgical face mask. A surgical mask is a loose-fitting, disposable device that creates a physical barrier between the mouth and nose of the wearer and potential contaminants in the immediate environment. You will also see this type of mask worn in hospitals by doctors and respiratory therapists. The edges of the mask are not designed to form a seal around the nose and mouth. Next is N95 respirator. The edges of the N95 respirator are designed to form a seal around the nose and mouth. N95 mask stops 95% of all particles sized 300 nanometer and above. An N95 respirator is a respiratory protective device designed to achieve a very close facial fit and very efficient filtration of airborne particles. Next is P95 respirator. P95 masks have an excellent ability to stop oil-based aerosols. It is used in industrial environments. Workers wear P95 as a protection against oil aerosols. Next is P100 respirator gas mask. A P100 respirator is not commonly associated with healthcare. It is used to may in contact with chemicals. Next is R95 respirator. R95 respirators are oil resistant and block out 95% of all airborne particles. R95 respirators are quite a bit more expensive than N95 masks. Next is N99 mask. N99 mask have greater protection but heavier to breathe in. N99 masks have more layers and come with exhaust valves. N99 anti-pollution mask filters out 99% of the particulate matter present in the air. Next is N100 mask. N100 masks are designed to protect the wearer from inhaling non-oil-based particulates. People working on construction sites, in dry food processing areas and in agricultural processing stations can benefit from using N100 respirators. Next is full face respirator. A full face respirator, which is typically used for home improvement projects may be a good choice for you. This type of mask, should be used for those who already have breathing problems or respiratory issues. Next is full length face shield. It covers the entire face from forehead to chin and secures with a cushioned headband. A full length face shield is not ideal during the COVID-19 crisis as it's tough to breathe in over time. Next is KN95 respirator. KN95 masks are very similar to N95 masks. This mask capture about 95% of tiny particles in the air. 
The biggest difference is that N95 masks are able to capture larger particles. Next we are going to watch things you should do before wearing a mask. Wash your hands before touching the mask. Inspect the mask whether it is fine. Find the top side where the metal piece is. Ensure the colored side faces outside. Place the metal piece over the nose. Cover the nose mouth and chin. Adjust the mask to your face with leaving gaps on the sides. Avoid touching the mask. Remove the mask from behind the ears or head. Keep your mask away from you and surfaces while removing. Discard the mask immediately after use. Wash your hands after discarding the mask. Next we are going to watch things you should not do while wearing a mask. Do not use a damp mask. Do not wear the mask over mouth or nose. Do not wear a loose mask. Do not touch the front of the mask. Do not remove the mask while talking to someone. Do not leave your used mask within the reach of others. Do not reuse the mask. Stay home. Stay healthy. Wear mask. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button. Thank you.